Smedberg. I'm the marketing manager here at Weinig Holzer USA, and we are coming to you from Mooresville, North Carolina, in our showroom. Um, and uh, I got with me Dan Hirschberger, my colleague here. Hey, Dan. Hey, good morning, Christian. Good morning, everyone. Glad to have everybody with us today. We think we have a really interesting and informative demonstration for you this morning in regards to PUR glue and the application of it on a Holzer Edge Bander and how that works. And in just a few minutes here, we'll give some people a chance to log on and join in with us this morning and see the demonstration. But we're glad to have you with us. And as we go throughout our demonstration this morning, we trust and hope that people will type in in the comments section and make yeah, some questions. Right. Yeah. And we've got very knowledgeable people with us this morning, and I think we can answer them for you. So hopefully what you see today will spark some interest and some questions, and we can take care of those for you this morning. Yeah, that's right, everybody. So this is a live stream. We're uh, coming to you on Facebook this morning. And uh, if you guys have any questions or comments during this uh, online demo, just put them in the comment section right down here, and uh, we'll make sure that we answer them live uh, while we're actually uh, performing this demo. So. We're doing PUR. Now, what is PUR glue? What yep. is that? PUR glue is a really uh, a great type of glue. It stands for polyurethane resin. Okay. And it's a type of glue that customers can use. The great thing about that glue is that once it's cured, once it's applied, it can't be reheated. It can't be remelted. The edges, they don't have to worry about the edges getting real hot and falling off at some point down the road. Or if you're using uh, edge banding, it's going to be in a really high moisture content area. Uh, the great thing about PUR glue is it is impervious to, to moisture and water. We're not going to have an issue with edges coming loose or falling off. So it's really nice in that regard. But it does take some special application yeah. procedures and things that you need to be aware of. And we're going to show you that today. We're going to show you how that works on a Holzer Edge Bander because it is quite unique in our industry, the way the PUR glue is applied uh, using a Holzer Edge Bander and the Holzer glue application station. And uh, what we're going to show you today is a common glue station that's on every edge bander that we sell. Nothing every special, one, yeah. no special unit, no nothing is required in addition to the regular glue station that we sell on every edge bander. Yeah, so Dan, I mean, just being around the industry and uh, going to trade shows, being in woodworking forums, just I hear a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of people being a little bit nervous about making that switch to PUR. They say, yeah, I know it's kind of a superior type of adhesive, but you know, I've heard a lot of horror stories. Right, so that's true. What, yeah. So are we going to be able to ease their mind I a little think bit when today? We get, yeah, I think when we get done today, the horror stories will be dispelled. <laughs> and Good. you'll see what it really takes to apply PUR glue. And a lot of people, I think, are really concerned that uh, they understand that once it cures, oh, I'm done with it. My glue station is going to be a boat anchor because it's all blocked up with PUR glue uh, yeah. and I'm in big trouble. And it's really not that difficult. It's not going to cure immediately. You'll see through the process, you could actually go to lunch and leave it in the machine and come mm -hmm. back after lunch and continue running the uh, edge bander. So it's not that critical. And hopefully we can explain some of that today and you'll see how it works on uh, one of our uh, middle of the line uh, edge banders. You'll see right here, we're going to be using the Sprint 1329 for most of our demonstration today. And we hope that it'll answer a lot of questions for you. And as Christian said earlier, Type in your questions on the bottom of the screen there. We'll be monitoring that. We will answer them right live while we're here. So as we go through the process this morning and questions come to mind, please ask us what they yeah, are and we'll absolutely. answer them for you. Yeah, we'll answer them live right on our stream. Um, so, uh, well, Dan, with that, I mean, uh, let's get into yeah, it. I think we're ready. And uh, we'll just, uh, like we said, we'll answer your questions. We'll just go through a very simple process about uh, using PUR. And uh, with that, let's get into All it, right, shall great. we? All right, great. All right, Christian. Well, the good, good thing is that here in Mooresville, North Carolina, in our showroom, we have some great people, some of our great technicians that have been with us a long time, are very knowledgeable and very experienced. So this morning, uh, Kevin Gremion is going to be running the machines and explaining the process. So I'm going to turn it over to Kevin and let him take the program from here. Go ahead, Kevin. Thanks, Dan. Hello, I'm Kevin Grimion. I'm the application specialist. And like Christian and Dan said, we're going to run some PUR today. So last night, I was running PUR in the machine, and I ran the flushing cartridge through it. So we do clean it every night. 
at the end of the night, and uh, it's just a flushing which also deactivates any PUR that's remaining. And Chris can, can see inside the glue station, I have it in from last night. So we can see the red inside this station here. Uh, so I would open a can of PUR this morning, and uh, we're gonna put it right behind the flushing agent, and we're gonna purge out the flushing agent with a stick of glue until we have glue coming out. And then we're ready to run product. So this will, uh, on the screen here, we can activate the glue station. Again, it's just a standard glue station in our machines. It's not a specialized station. We don't have to change them out. Um, the, uh, the glue is a two minute heat up time for PUR. It's three minutes for EVA. Um, because of the temperature differences. Uh, once the glue station is up to temperature, I can press one button, press, on the screen, and this will uh, get me up to temperature. Uh, as soon as we activate the machine, we can start the purging process. Again, that one was red, happened to be red, uh, for the cartridge uh, purging agent. When we see the PUR, which is the different color, in this case it's translucent, uh, glue we're running. Um, and once we see this coming out, then we know we're ready to run product. Okay. Um, so I'm just a moment from full temperature here. Another thing uh, some people have asked me before is, uh, as Dan was mentioning, about the time. So once you open a can of PUR, typically you have eight to ten hours uh, to consume it. So you can either turn it on and off all day long, it's not a problem. Uh, typically, of course, the cartridge of glue is about 70 meters linear on 19 millimeter thick panel, typical three quarter inch panel. Um, so you'll be going through, you know, six, seven sticks a day. So we'll open a couple in the morning, a couple at lunch, the time starts again, and then maybe a couple in the afternoon. Again, the timer starts every time you open a can. So they're all in sealed, sealed containers like this. Kevin, we have a question. So can yes. we use EVA glue to flush PUR instead of the clean cartridge? Absolutely not. Um, the deactivator or the purging agent is also a deactivator. So if you don't get all of the PUR out, then it could start setting up on the sides of the nozzle and the waffle uh, and slowly close the gap. So that's why this is not only a pushing flushing agent, it also deactivates the R of the PUR. So it will no longer set up. So then it's completely safe. So my glue is hot and I can see that my glue station is full by the meter on top and I can press the purging button here. It will automatically go into the purging mode and Christian can come around here. Normally I have a catch bin that's inserted inside and uh, we either coat it with paper or spray it. But in this case for our purposes, so we can see for a demonstration, we can see how we have the purging agent coming out and we'll wait till the glue comes out. All right. This should only take a, take a minute or two. If you have a, a larger machine, let's say the, the Anacura or Illumina, in this case, we can also run a 2kg or the standard one like in the standard cartridge systems as this size. And this is the two kilogram. So you're not opening cans all day. Maybe you're in high, high production. Okay. Um, comes in different forms. You can get the flushing agent also in granulate. All stations can take granulate or cartridge. Uh, this is the 2kg station. So it's the same glue nozzle uh, here. Just the production of the glue system. Uh, cartridge is larger. And in this case here, we can interchange the stations. You can have two different colors or maybe two different processes or PUR in one, EVA in the other. And each station for this series machine plugs right in and two plugs and I'm ready to go. Okay. So in this case I have two glue stations for this machine because we're running two different products maybe back and forth. We don't want to change color or change processes. So I can see on my screen that uh, about half the glue stick is consumed, which is okay. And we should be able to see that we should have a color change. It's just starting to come out. Uh, the purging agent is 
starting to turn a bit translucent, and we're nearly to have glue coming out. All right. So once the stick gets down to about a quarter uh, remaining, and you can see right now it's already starting to change color and getting into the, uh, the glue itself. Um, we're, I know that people have a lot of questions about the PUR. Are there any other questions regarding uh, Uh, Kevin, uh, we have a uh, question. What about the cost of PUR versus EVA? Uh, that's a good question. Uh, the cost of PUR is approximately double um, there. The, um, uh, the benefits obviously are tenfold, but the cost is about double. I believe the average of EVA is about one cent per foot, so now you're about two cents per, per foot. Most people don't know how much they spend in glue every year. Um, but the cost of having to redo or send the crew out to redo by hand uh, a job, that cost people do know. So that's really the insurance that you're gaining is by running the PUR. It cannot be reheated by either the oven or a high moisture uh, area. Or if you're shipping and stuff in the container, maybe for a weekend or a month, it's not going to release off. Another good area for PUR is maybe in the veneer. Uh, when we're doing wood, or if it's going through a roll coat with UV oven uh, to bake the finish on, that UV light is very hot, and it can also release the edging off the off the uh, the panels. So, um, okay. uh, that is a great question. So, um, once we are uh, completely purged out uh, from purging agent to glue. We are ready to run. Okay. Uh, typically, we run maybe a glue test of a panel just to make sure just the glue is on correctly. Okay. We can run one of these to make sure we're completely transferred. Okay. From glue from uh, sorry from purging agent to glue. Uh, Kevin, can you explain just a little bit about the uh, the difference between the glue jet system and the glue pot when it comes to PUR? Um, yes, typically a glue pot, um, the machine has to have two glue pots, has to be changed out from one to the other. Um, the glue pot with the PUR, it's going to set up, so it has to be either put into a, uh, a nitrogen chamber or a container to, uh, to stop the reaction, pause it in the moment until it's needed again. Um, and then, of course, cycling through the glue uh, continuously to make sure you don't have some old PUR that's setting up inside the glue pot. The glue jet is a, is a standard uh, equipment we've had for a long time. Because it heats on demand, it only heats the front of the stick. We're only pushing out what we need and as we need it. And then, of course, like we said, with the purging agent right behind it, we are completely flushing 100%. I can go from EVA back to PUR, from brown to black to clear. It's uh, very versatile in that manner. Um, so because of that, I don't need the extra equipment of another pot or another station. I don't need the extra uh, equipment to contain the, the second glue pot, etc. So it's quite a cost savings. Uh, Kevin, would PUR be a sensible solution for high gloss material uh, because of the reduced glue line? Uh, yes, absolutely. Um, the viscosity uh, comparison of EVA and PUR um, the similarity, or let's say the people use, is the uh, peanut butter versus honey. So peanut butter, you have to really, really squish it and it'll squeeze out, but it's a thick film underneath there. So your glue line is so apparent. With PUR, it's very, very thin, so it can squeeze really, really tightly. Uh, so this glue line is, is virtually a zero edge uh, when, when applied. Um, and again, when it sets up, it can no longer be heated again. And uh, to mention that, the setup time takes about 48 to 72 hours, depends on humidity and environment and the type of glue you're running. So typically, out of the edge bander immediately, it's the same adhesion as EVA. Uh, the next day, for sure, by the end of uh, 48 hours, it is completely on and you must cut it off. There's no, no getting, no coming off the panel after that. All right. so. Um, 
I'm going to run uh, a part so I can in my program list here, I can select which program I have for the setup. In this case, we're going to run a one millimeter edge here. I can load the program in. The glue station has changed over. The machine is going to set up. And I'm ready to run. And there it is. So changeover is very quick, very easy, and straight away. So once it cures up, like I said, it will be permanent. Great. All right, thank you. Kevin, appreciate that good uh, explanation this morning. One thing you did say that the glue has to cure, and it does take 72 hours or so far before it's completely cured, but the good thing is when it comes out of the machine, like it just did now, it's still got a good strong bond. Yeah. You don't have to worry that it's gonna fall off or you're gonna damage the edge, so it's not like it's not held on there tightly. So it's great, a lot of good information in there. Thank you for the questions, everybody that participated this morning. Uh, this video will be resident on our Facebook page, so you can watch it again in the future. If you see things in there that uh, spark questions, uh, Send them to us, we'll be glad to answer them. And thank you to everyone for joining with us and watching this morning. Are there any questions now? Any more questions, Chris? All right, Kevin, thank you. Thanks, Thanks guys. everybody. Bye now.